is performing. I mean, we could have moved the ANC in Nelson Mandela. But if Helen says to a council of the DA, don't come to a meeting, and then they lose with one vote, and they're upset, the opposition by the way. Remember, we shouldn't be voting with the DA. We got insulted so much by the DA. But we've got no big egos because the agenda is bigger than us. The agenda is this country. We want to save this country. But the smaller parties don't have uh, this thick skin that we have in the EFF. In Nelson Mandela, they walked away. The same thing um, they did in Etequin. They walked away because the DA was just not budging. But we said we're going to stay here. We've got a country to rescue. It doesn't matter what these whites are saying. We're going to pursue a different direction to rescue this country. But the small parties will not have the same energy and determination. And from time to time, they will get a you know, tempted to agree to this or that. In Nelson Mandela, there are two uh, political, small political parties who have said to the EFF, whatever direction you take, we are with you. We'll move that way. But this whites insults people like nobody's business. They belittle them. They talk down on them. You know why they don't want EFF in those negotiations? They can't do that to the EFF. They will never talk down to us. They will never talk to them the way they want. But these small parties get spoken down like they've got no relevance and significance. When they leave those meetings, they say, we don't want anything to do with the DA. Nothing. And we try to speak to them. Even there at, uh, at Eguin Mavunda, we spoke to him until he collected a ballot uh, paper. We never gave up on him. You know who we spoke to? Makosini Koza. She refused to vote with the DA. She refused and said she's going to abstain. We fought, we fought. She said no. We had to call Mashaba and said she's saying something else. And then Mashaba had to make an intervention. Then she said to the SG, no, my leadership called, we are now on board. Even when she says she's on board, go and watch four or five when they were voting and they are interviewing her. On the queue, when people are going to vote, these people are racist. They are arrogant of the DA. We are not even sure if they will vote for IFP. How do you say that when we are voting? How do you say that against your block? We say that when we are fighting there, fine. Now we are voting. You should be encouraging and agitating and projecting unity of people. She's still insulting that DA to the ballot box. That one. If Mashaba is not careful, she's going to be a big problem, that woman, for, for that guy. And I'm, I, I, if I want to take it to extreme, I think she voted for ANC. I think she did. Because when we did a head count, we were 110. We're 110 without uh, ABC. But Mutushu keeps on complaining. How do you complain even on the eve of voting and believe this person is going to vote for these people? She's just doing it because Mashaba said this is the direction we're moving. I don't think with my right conscience I don't think she voted for DA. She did two things. Either she abstained, like she said before, the voting, or she voted for ANC. Anyway, those are her colleagues before, and they, they, they come from the same area. It should be easy for her to vote for them. So that, that's where we are. But what happens? The EFF is supposed to be the biggest crybaby because Helen and, and Steinhazen, unprovoked. One corking. Steinhazen, Aya Toilet, Ogare, we are guy, or EFF, you are not Hiba. Or we are on their lips, yeah, yeah. 
with, whether you are talking, they, they behave like Karima Brown, the, the late Karima Brown. When she interviews people on something else, she just makes a turn and says, what do you think about the EFF? We are not here for that. So, stay in Azen, Helen, insulting us from the first day to the last day, even after. We have no problem with that. We are fixing the country. They don't know what we are doing. We are fixing the country. So when you are on a country duty, you don't entertain a distraction which will destroy the giraffe view. We don't see it here. We see it there. We are preparing for there. Let me tell you, the ANC is our immediate competitor. When you remove the ANC in the metros, you are playing, you are leveling the playing field. ANC and EFF in Joburg, they are going to meet on the streets of Soweto as equals. If we don't have a poster, the ANC won't have a poster because the safe is closed. Why must I give to the ANC? my immediate competitor. I don't compete constituency with DA. They are voted by white racists, not progressive whites. So I compete with the ANC. The sooner I close the safe everywhere, the better for the growth of the EFF. We are closing the ANC out to level the playing field. Look this election, how it was so nice. They didn't have posters. They didn't have T-shirts. They had very few billboards. What was the abuse? What was the abuse? What was the abuse? When they've got money, at the corner of a voting station, they have T-shirts like this. Every time a person comes, they greet people with T-shirts. Nothing like that this year. Nothing like that in 2024 will be equal. Metros are gone. Houting is gone. There is nothing magical that will happen in between now and 2024 for the ANC to win Houting. Why must I vote for people who are going to win against me in 2024 by giving them resources? Remember, this thing of municipalities also create odd jobs. These small jobs, they are given to ANC Youth League, ANC volunteers as a, a EPW type of work in municipalities. Those people are the campaigners of the ANC, those ones. They tell them to take off those overalls and send them to go and do door-to-door -to, -door to prepare for my, my, uh, Ramaphosa's arrival. That bus you are saying Ramaphosa moves around with a bus when he campaigns here in Gauteng. Is this young people who are doing odd jobs in municipalities, they get told, come here, they can't say no because they will be fired. Then they get moved around with buses to support the ANC. It will never happen. Where? With which metro? Lena, you think it's only in the metros. You don't know what's happening in West End. You don't know what's happening in City Bay. The whole of Houtei, they have nothing left. And because they do it for money, if they can't make money, they are going to leave. Now, they are crying all over social media. Hey, Malema sold out. Malema, as if I'm their father. Hmm? They don't know where their father is. They must go and look for that big nose where he is. They must not say for me, I, I sold them out. I never sold them out. I'm not their father. I'm not their father. When they expelled me, what, what were they expecting? They expected to expel me and still get something from me. What do they want from me, these witches? They must leave me alone. 